If you love paying taxes, then this is not the show for you. Just keep on scrolling. But if you want to find out which states are the best for retirees, then stick around. Welcome to the show. My name is Rich Sparks, broker owner of Time to Downsize, the real estate company that helps you break the chains of stuff and move anywhere in the world where you can be the happiest. Today's show topic is states that are the most tax friendly for retirees. Because whether your kids think money grows on trees, your spouse thinks money grows on trees, or if the government thinks money grows on trees, you know as well as I do, it doesn't. We gotta make that dollar stretch. The, our first state is known to be the home of country music. It's where it all started. It's also called the volunteer state. But I think what they're best known for is giving out that great wisdom that you can't go grow corn up on old Rocky Top. That's right, our first state is Tennessee. Tennessee is one of a handful of states that has no state income tax. Also, their property taxes are fantastic. On a $250,000 home, you would expect to pay property taxes somewhere around $1,600 a year not too shabby. They also have no inheritance tax. So when your estate transfers over, your estate, your family, is going to save a ton of money there. Now where they do get you though, is on their sales tax. With a whopping 9.55% and 4% on food. But overall, it's a great state for retirees. And keep in mind, they did get voted, I think it was in 2019, for having the best roads in the nation. Hey, Pam, how you doing? Yep. Oh, money doesn't grow on trees when I was talking about spouses? Oh, honey, I wasn't talking about you. I'm just generally speaking. Yep, I understand. Love you too. Bye now. So no matter where you're at or what you're doing, if you're married, you better watch what you say. Let's move on to our next state. Our next state is one of the few, I think the only state that actively mines for diamonds today. Their state instrument is the fiddle and they are known for their beautiful lakes and streams. Now, not known so much for retirees, but something you might want to consider. Coming in at number nine, the great state of Arkansas. The great state of Arkansas has a state income tax starting at 0.75% going up to 6.6%. Now keep in mind, if you're a senior and your income is lower, then you would be in that lower bracket. It is a sliding scale. They have no inheritance tax, which is fantastic. And they have very low property taxes. On a $250,000 home, you would expect to pay right around $1,530 in property taxes, which isn't too bad. The bummer is Arkansas does have the second highest sales tax coming in at 9.51. Similar to Tennessee, right? Our next state boasts having the very, very first drive through McDonald's. It's also known as the Copper State. And the coolest thing is they actually purchased the London Bridge and had it moved to the city. That's pretty cool. Coming in at number eight is Arizona. The state income tax is a sliding scale between 2.59% and 4.5%. They have no estate taxes, no taxes on social security, and they have very low property taxes. So on a $250,000 home, you would expect to pay right around $1,453. They have a pretty high sales tax, right around 8.4%. Now, you're gonna wanna stick around to the end because I'm gonna reveal the very worst state for taxes for retirees. And you're gonna wanna know that and kind of avoid that puppy. Our next state boasts three times the productions of peaches compared to Georgia. And when one year when they made fun of Georgia and was kind of poking them saying, hey dude, we make three times more peaches than you guys, Georgia replied, but our peaches are three times sweeter. 
Rolling in at number seven, a peach of a state, South Carolina. South Carolina's state income tax ranges from 3% to 7% and really kicks in around that $15,000 mark. Now they do not have any inheritance tax, which is a bonus. And they do have a lot of pro over 65 tax benefits. For instance, social security benefits, totally tax exempt. Up to $10,000 of other tax or uh, retirement distributions, that would be 401ks, pensions, tax exempt. And up to $15,000 of other forms of income. So if you're looking to work after retirement and whatever you wanna do, your first $15,000 will be tax-free for the state. Their property taxes are really low. So on a $250,000 home, you could expect to pay right around $1,363 a year. That's pretty reasonable. And the reason we're using that $250,000 is just to be consistent across the whole board. Now, their sales tax, 7.46%, not bad coming back down to more of an average sales tax across the country. But the one thing that really gets me about South Carolina is they impose an annual tax on your car. Our next state is known to have the largest hot springs pool in the country and boasts having the highest elevation for a paved road in the country. Coming in at number six is Colorado. Colorado's state income tax is a flat rate of 4.55% across the board. There is no inheritance tax, so that's a positive. And you're going to love the property taxes. On a home valued at $250,000, you would expect to pay right around $1,352 in property tax. That's pretty good. Matter of fact, it's so good. They're the third cheapest property taxes in the entire nation. The state and local combined sales tax is an average of 7.72% across the state. So here again, it's getting a little closer into the ballpark, but so it's just a tad on the higher side. Now, let's see if you can guess this state before I tell you. In Spanish, the name of this state means snow covered. They are the largest gold producing state in the nation and they are known for Area 51. Did you guess it? The great state of Nevada. Now in Nevada, you are hitting it big on tax savings with no state tax, no inheritance tax, and the fourth cheapest property taxes in the nation. On a $250,000 home, you would expect to pay right around $1,333 a year for property tax. Not too bad. Now, their sales tax is a little bit on the high side. At 8.23%, that brings them right around the 12th highest sales tax in the nation. But one of the big bonuses for living here is you can always say, hey, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Now our next state is a wild place. They actually gave women the right to vote 50 years before the rest of the country. And in 1925, they had their first female governor, Miss Natalie Taylor Ross. That's pretty cool. But what they're best known for is the creation of the infamous Jackalope. I hope you guessed it. Coming in at number four, the great state of Wyoming. Well, hey, hon, it's real unusual for you calling twice. What, about people are crazy? No, that had nothing to do with giving women the right to vote or voting in a female governor back in 1925. It was totally on the jackalope thing. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Well, there you go. You gotta watch what you say regardless. But let's check out this awesome state. I've not been to Wyoming. I'm looking forward to going there. But they have some really cool things.
So one of my favorite parts about Wyoming is there is no state income tax. You got to love that. The average state sales tax is right around 5.33. There's no tax on inheritance. So this really is a strong state. Now a home valued at $250,000, you would expect to pay right around $1,438 a year in property tax. So overall, you can't really beat Wyoming for that tax structure. Before I tell you the next two states, keep in mind this is based on taxes, not cost of living. We're gonna be looking at that in another video and if that's something you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button so when we make that video and put it out, you'll just get a little notification. And at this point, if at a minimum, if you've gotten one little tidbit of information that you thought was valuable, do me a favor and just hit the like button. It just happens to tell YouTube that I'm okay. It makes me feel good. It's a win-win and I really do appreciate it. Now our next state is no state at all. It is the District of Columbia. The District of Columbia state taxes ranges from 4% to 8.9%. They don't tax Social Security. They do have an inheritance tax. And they also tax other forms of retirement. So your 401k distributions, money coming from a pension, those will get taxed and it's something really to consider. Their property taxes are quite low. On a home around $250,000, you would pay right around $1,410 in property taxes. But here's the rub. You're not gonna find a $250,000 home. The median uh, home price in the District of Columbia is a whopping $675,000. So that's a pretty good little bite. Now let's see if you can guess this state. This state is the only state in the country that commercially grows coffee beans. They were the first state to put the bag on plastic bags and they have outlawed billboards. Did you guess it? Did you say Hawaii? If you did, you're absolutely right. Now, Hawaii state income tax ranges from 1.4% up to 11% and really starts getting up there for folks making over $200,000 a year. Social Security benefits totally tax free. Also, pensions, qualifying pensions, qualifying 401ks, those are tax-free also. Now, even though the average sales price of a home in Hawaii is $678,000, we're gonna base ours on two hundred and fifty dollars for the property tax, just so we're consistent. Now, Hawaii has the cheapest property taxes in the entire country on a home valued at $250,000, you would pay a whopping 700 bucks a year in property taxes. Can you imagine? That would be fantastic. Their sales tax isn't too bad either, coming in at 4.44%. And they do charge an inheritance tax once your estate gets over that $5.6 million mark, then you're gonna be paying some taxes. So for the very wealthy, this might not be the best state to make your home. You'd have to look into it. Now we're finally here. We've made it up to the number one state. This state is known to be the first state to ratify the constitution. They're also one of the smallest states, only 100 miles long and 35 miles wide. Also, according to a 2015 study, they have the fastest internet not only in the country, but every place in the world except South Korea. Coming in at number one, the great state of Delaware. The great state of Delaware. Their state income tax is relatively low, 2.2% up to 6.6%. However, social security benefits are not taxed at all. Retirement disbursements up to 12,500 on pensions and 401ks not taxed. But I think if you're a real big shopper and you like to go out, you're going to love this part. Their sales tax is 0%. That is pretty cool. Also, their property taxes aren't bad either. On a $250,000 home, you'd pay right around $1,967, which isn't too bad. Now it's time for that bonus information. For the state that has the worst taxes for retirees, 
Not only do they have the worst taxes, they have some pretty interesting laws. One of their laws are birds are not allowed to poop on cars. That's illegal. In Newark, it's illegal to purchase ice cream after 6 o'clock at night unless you have a doctor's order. And my very favorite is it's illegal to frown at police officers, especially when they realize how much they're paying in taxes. It's crazy. Their state income tax goes anywhere from 1.0 all the way up to 10.75. Now, they don't tax Social Security, so that's a good thing. And they do give a break on some of the retirement incomes. Average combined sales tax in the area is 6.6%. Doesn't sound too shabby. Overall, it doesn't sound bad, but wait till you hear their property taxes. On a home valued at $250,000, you would pay over $6,000 a year in property taxes. Things that make you go, ooh. So when considering where you're going to live around the country, there's more to it than just the taxes. However, it's something you do have to consider. There's a lot of us that would like to live in places that we just can't afford. Now, if you're looking to make a relocation anywhere in the country, we can help you out. We have a service we offer, it's free of charge. Give us a holler. Thanks so much for watching this video. My name's Rich Sparks. Have a great day and don't miss our next videos. Talk to you later. Bye-bye now.